G'day guys, Stix here. Uh, today I thought I'd just do a real quick video um, on a product that I've picked up recently. Um, firstly, just want to apologise for the uh, croaky voice. Um, yeah, seemed to be coming down with something. Uh, not coronavirus, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd just do, uh, while I'm stuck at home waiting for my test results, so I thought I'd just do a real quick video for you guys. Um, so what we have uh, today, or what we're reviewing, um, is the Junior Blue Tactical M4 Stock 1.0. Okay, so what is it? Um, basically, it's a buffer tube that replaces um, any of your other normal AEG buffer tubes and replaces the need to actually run your standard um, LiPo battery, so whether that's your 7.4s or your 11.1s. Um, and it basically um, uses drill batteries, okay? So just your standard Milwaukee batteries that you can pick up from any hardware store. Um, oh, this one's a bit tight, there we go. Um, so yeah, basically just uses a drill battery, okay? And just sits on the end there. Um, so with these kits, um, they can be either hardwired straight into your gearbox, um, so that way, once it's on there, that's it. Um, unless you go back through and re-pull everything apart. Or it can actually be wired so that um, there's a Dean's connection um, as well. So if I wanted to, say, put this onto a, another blaster, like my ARP or anything like that, um, I'm more than capable of doing that. Um, so just with a quick basically unscrewing of the tube, unplugging the Dean's connections and then just swapping it over onto another one. Um, so as I said, these take the Milwaukee M12 batteries. Um, so you can get these in either a 2000, 3000, 4000 or 6000 milliamp hours. Um, which is really, really good, quite versatile. Obviously the bigger the battery, the more that sticks out the end here. But again, not really that big of a deal. Now, with um, with it using these drill batteries, it does then allow you to actually run at a. Um, it actually runs at a high voltage, so it's generally somewhere between 12 and 13 volts, which obviously then increases your rate of fire, um, but also increases the time that it's actually able to run, basically. So that's, um, that's a really good positive uh, for this. Um, everyone loves a good high rate of fire, especially in your CQB environments or just in general, really. Um, you know, we're starting to move away from 7.4 4 volt batteries. Things are starting to come stock with 11 volts. So it's good to see that um, we can push the limits of, uh, of the hobby a bit more. <clears throat> now, some of the cons about this system, um, again, do noting this is the first model ever made, um, so it's probably still in its probably in its R and not R and D, but you know some modifications can be made to future models. Um, for me, there's a couple. Uh, the first one is not actually having the ability to um, run a normal telescopic buttstock on here, um, unlike I would on my say my my Gen Nine. Um, obviously with this battery and especially if you're running say the 4000 or the 6000 milliamp per hour batteries um, it just won't physically allow you to be able to put one of those stocks on so that's a bit of a disadvantage for me because um, especially with how long and lanky my arms are I usually like to have my blaster still sitting a fair way out that's comfortable for me whereas with this system I have to bring it right in and that just feels a little bit uncomfortable you know especially when i'm um manipulating say my safety or anything like that um, it does become a little bit more cramped for me um, but again it's not the end of the world uh, i just have to adjust my play style basically um, and again nothing beats training so i just got to make sure that i train with this my other criticism is it now takes away my ability to have a sling mount attached to the back. Um, again, 
for my style of play, I run a sidearm. I run my XTP, um, or my 1911, as a as a secondary um, sidearm. When I train, I run with those as well. And not having a sling point there and basically rendering it useless because the only way I can attach a sling is down at the front, which makes no sense to do that. Um, so with the inability to be able to actually mount one at the moment, kind of a bit annoying. Um, I kind of, in a way, I kind of wish I'd known that a little bit earlier, but that's, you know, okay, it is what it is. There's ways around it. It's, um, you know, what, what can you do? Um, but I believe the guys down at um, Global Tactical Solution, uh, the tech down there, Drax, he's uh, coming up with a way for me to actually mount that. So um, I might put a um, option for this up on my Instagram page, um, which I'll leave the uh, tag at the end of the video. Um, yeah, so once that's up there, I'll, uh, I'll put it up on uh, there somehow, whether in a post or a story or something. Um, for you guys to look at, um, but other than that, they're, they're pretty much my only two two gripes, I guess, with this system. Um, yeah, there's nothing much else that's really a downside. Like, I think this is a great idea. Um, like I said, it moves away from the use of um, your standard lipos. Obviously, there's a lot of conjecture around, you know, lipos exploding and doing X, Y, Z. Um, so this pretty much mitigates that risk. Uh, as I said earlier, this um, this system's compatible with any um, AEG blaster. That's um, if you're running a Leviathan or any other um, MOSFET or um, fire control unit. This runs with it fine, no issues whatsoever. Um, so what comes in the kit when you buy this? Um, so you get the um, M4 style stock adapter, okay, which is basically just that bit there. Um, you get a set of mounting hardware, so just basic screws and that sort of thing. Um, and then obviously the um, battery itself, the Milwaukee M12 battery. Um, this is only the 2000 milliampere hour that you'll get. Um, but like I said, you can go out and purchase more. Um, you obviously get the charger for that as well. Um, so if you are wanting to purchase one of these, they're currently retailing for $299 from Global Tactical Solution. Um, Drax, the tech down there, can 100% um, install this for you, no problems whatsoever. Um, so if you're wanting to um, purchase one of these, do head down there. Um, yeah, and if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please either shoot me a DM on Instagram, Facebook, um, or comment on the video. Anyway, guys, uh, till next time, uh, stay safe and uh, happy gel blasting. Cheers. Oh,